I'm Cobb Vance, Marshal of Mos Pelgo. Internet, hello. It's time for another Star Wars video. Hopefully you have watched Boba Fett and The Mandalorian. If you haven't, why are you watching this video? Go watch them. They're pretty good. One of them's really good. One of them is... Anyway, today we're going to be looking at Finnick Shand and Cobb Vanth, both from Mandalorian and also the Boba Fett series. So let's open them. Before we get any further, you should probably hit the like button. You should probably hit subscribe and you should probably hit the notification bell. Because if you did watch Boba Fett and you want to hear our opinions on it, trust me, they're really entertaining and I yell a bunch about it. I don't know. Anyway, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you think of the Boba Fett series and if you like superfluous spin shots. I'll try spinning. That's a good trick. All right, so first impressions out of the box. They both look really good. The paint is pretty spot on. The actual, okay, let's just go with one first. So on Fennec, the orange is perfect. The actual stitching and all the details on the armor and clothing is perfect pretty amazing actually all of the different little patterns on her waistcoat there and the different designs and not just having those kind of painted on but actually molded in the plastic uh, is pretty impressive the different stitching on the back where it's a completely different material uh, stands out really nice the differences in the matte and glossy bits on the shoulder pads look really cool her own custom rifle which is in the show so they've got the you know, AK style platform that they modified to make it look like a really cool Star Wars blaster or different, uh, two different scopes on there that are movie realistic. The helmet looks really good and is actually moldable. It's not articulated, kind of how she opens it up and down, but it is kind of a softer plastic, so you can kind of pop it open a little bit or close it all the way down. So you can get uh, her eyes to peek through as well. So those are the good things on Fennec Shand. Now let's talk about Cobb Vanth. Overall, the figure is really cool. The paint is pretty spot on. I like all the weathering. You know, he found the armor, bought it off some Jawas, and it's it's been through hell and back. So it's got all the damage and weathering that was on it when he acquired it. We got a rifle. It's got some wraps on it. He's got his pistol, and this is his own kind of custom proprietary pistol that he uses in the show. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's only one tone just like the matte plastic that the there's no paint or anything on it but uh yeah looks pretty good so the torso is the boba fett torso from other figures and because of the way that it's attached to the rest of the body they were able to use the boba fett pieces arms uh shoulder bits chest uh, and put it on his own specific lower torso which has the kind of stippled sweater that he's wearing underneath. I do like how it's made to just be, you know, that shirt that you have that's just a little too short that you usually have on laundry day or something. Uh, you don't wear it outside, but he does with pride. Time for articulation. I'll put it right up on the screen. They're both pretty much identical. There's a couple little nuances here and there, but they both have, that's okay. You can just lie down. Both have head articulation on a dumbbell neck joint as well so it can especially with the helmets really helps with getting different angles and stuff like that they both have a diaphragm joint no waist swivel a thigh cut single knee with the star wars stormtrooper proprietary uh rotating spinning knee joints which is a thing uh and they got ankle rocker and hinge uh, no butterfly joints on Fennec, but you do have a butterfly joint on Cobb Vanth. Single elbow, wrist articulation, swivel, and yeah. So, for the most part, you can get them into pretty much any pose that you want. Um, you can lie down too. That's articulation. Before we get into the accessories that they come with, we're gonna do a little face reveal. Finally! Two million subscribers face cam reveal! So we got Cobb Vanth. Now, he does look like Timothy Oliphant, Timothy Elephant, whatever his name is. If you added like 15 years on him, the face sculpt is pretty good. I'd say it's like eight out of 10. Like it's not like, uh, but you know, it's, it's pretty good. looks like the guy. Uh, the hair I think could have used more blonde. It's just 
way too heavy on the gray. Like it's, they went salt and pepper and just forgot the pepper. <laughs> That's it. Now, thank God the helmets are really good because you're gonna wanna keep them on with Fennec. She looks like if a Barbie doll uh, ate a bunch of bees. It's not good. It's not good. Which is unfortunate because they like, they paid a lot of attention to the detail. They've got the hair going down the side, coloring on there. They've got all the different little things sewn into her hair. Bun on the back looks really good. The tiny scar on right below her eye, like it's wonderfully painted. They've got dirt on her face. Like they went through all of the paces to get a really detailed face, except getting a really detailed face. <laughs> So yeah, just keep the helmet on. Luckily the helmet looks super badass and Timothy Oliphant, you know, when they come out with the Cobb Vanth movie in 10 years, he'll be age appropriate this figure. Accessories. So there is some controversy uh, about Cobb Vanth because he does come in a deluxe packaging. He does come with a few things does he come with enough to warrant the extra price tag? You decide, internet, or, you know, I'll decide. Uh, no, <laughs> he doesn't. He comes with a bunch of Boba Fett things, but he doesn't come with all of the cool Boba Fett things, like fire, and fire, and also fire. So, you know, that's kind of a letdown. But he does come with the jetpack. It does have a different missile on it, so that's cool that they uh, are staying true to the show. It's got a slightly different paint job on it, and, it does have the holes. We'll, we'll show you off later. Actually, no, I'll show you off right now. So if you have another Boba Fett and you already have all of the flame effects, you're gonna shove those bad boys right in there. Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. You got jetpack things. So yeah, comes with that. Comes with a gun, as I briefly mentioned. Uh, again, I don't know why he doesn't have a rifle. I don't think, uh, if I missed a behind the scenes scene, let me know in the comments. And then he comes with this pistol. Pretty cool. Fennec Shand, she just comes with a rifle. Obviously they come with their helmets. The helmets are pretty cool. They do have minor articulation, hers bends and his visor rangefinder comes down. Fennec Shand does come with her proprietary rifle that we see in the TV show. The actual design and makeup of the strap is actually really really well done because a lot of the time in the show she just has it slung on her back and it's molded and bent perfectly to the actual shape of her shoulder so it sits on there really nice a lot of figures that come with a rifle with a big strap they fall off or break or are constantly just in weird awkward positions but as far as getting realistic poses and getting it to look natural they nailed it and also having the little extra little paint bits on the strap is a nice touch as well comparison time calm down okay so, geez. so here are all of their compadres right in a line we've got boba which he you know nicked the armor off of we've got the mandalorian which is why they all are known because his show was awesome and they were in it so then we got Cobb vanth who uh Shot him pretty good. I don't think he's dead. Do you think that he's dead? Well, Justin, I think he's alive. And if you want to figure out what we have to say after that, then uh, maybe you should hit the subscribe button because we do a podcast on Star Wars TV shows that come out. We're going to be doing one on Obi-Wan, which comes out in May. And you know what? I think he's going to come in to play in Obi-Wan's show. So anyway, hit the subscribe button. Stop falling over, you old man. And then we have Sam Person. They all line up great. They're all around the same heights. They all fit together great. Um, he's, you know, a little bit... So here's the thing. He's a little bit taller than Boba Fett, which I really enjoy because they definitely went through the effort of making him look like a kid who's wearing, like, I don't know, just like some hand-me-downs that clearly don't fit. The helmet kind of pokes up a little bit. Armor's sticking weird. The oddity of how the armor fits i think they did a really good job on it and uh yeah fennec a little bit shorter than everyone else which uh is pretty realistic to the show so yeah look great together all right so what are my final thoughts you may ask well fennec looks so cool 
I, again, just the detailing, all the different textures and fabrics looks really, really great. The contrast of the orange to black, like just aesthetically as a character and as a figure looks so cool. Except for the face. Don't take the helmet off. Thank God the helmet looks really cool. Cobb Vanth, I love how lanky they make him look. Uh, is it worth the extra dollars for a rifle that he totally never uses ever? He uses a rifle, people. He uses a rifle, Justin. Okay. Okay? He, okay, he used it once and I forgot. Sorry, we did a quick Google and... I should have done it, but I didn't. But anyway, he uses it once. So he comes with it. So is it worth the extra dollars? That's debatable. I don't know. It is a pretty cool figure and Cobb Vanth is a really cool character. So yeah, there's all of those things. If you like them, then go buy them. And now to announce the winner of this month's prize, piss off. Todd, you won yourself. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pudgy Pig. Get in touch with us on the internet. Like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, whatever, you'll, you'll figure it out. And then we'll uh, we'll send it out to you. So congrats, you win. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and you can win a prize. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Have you guys put your money on, on the Islanders, the Ducks, the Krakens, or the Sharks? Why Kraken. Betting? Why are you betting? I'm not. It's the Tim Hortons-like thing. Krakens. Krakens? Oh, yeah. Is that an actual sports team? Don't ask him. I'm just talking you. about actual animals, creatures. Which one would win in a fight? A fucking <laughs> kraken. It's a big. <laughs> <laughs>